Hello and welcome. It is August 6, 2023, and I am so happy that you are here. My name is Sarah McLean, and I love to lead meditations and meditate every day. And for me, one of the most important aspects of meditation, even though it's a solitary experience, is to be together with, with like-minded, like-hearted people who are also meditating along with me. There's something about the field effect that is very real for me, and I imagine it's fairly real for you, where you, your whole nervous system settles down and we meet each other in this ocean of consciousness, this ocean of love. And each one of us is an expression of that. We're a wave in this ocean of love or this ocean of peace or this ocean of bliss. And I wanna read to you, um, I'm gonna show it to you first. This is something my cousin sent me and I know you can't see it now, but, and I can't even read who it's by, but I'm going to read it slowly as a meditation. And um, then we'll get started into a practice of meditation. Today, we're going to be practicing what's called open awareness. For those of you who have been meditating with me for a while, we quite often use something that's called focused attention practices. Focused attention practices are practices that include you and your gentle attention, your willingness to be here, and that third ingredient of something that you're focusing on, whether it's something you see or feel or hear, a sound-based or sensation-based or sight-based meditation. But today we're going to be practicing open awareness, letting everything, every single experience meet your mind, meet your senses, and you're going to be practicing welcoming everything and settling into this very moment. So before we start that, before I read you the poem, um, I just want to share with you that I've been teaching meditation for 30 years. I meditate every day. I feel very blessed that I found meditation at a very young age. I know some of you are just getting started with us and are just finding your way into meditation. I'm no expert. I just happen to know my interior a little bit more because I spend a little more time on the internal stroke, as they call it. Um, but, you know, meditation is something everybody can do. You don't need any special powers of concentration. In fact, it will give you the superpower of being able to pay attention. You don't need any particular spiritual bent. Um, you can be non-religious, religious. You can be Christian or Jewish or Buddhist or Catholic or whatever it may be, Muslim, Jain, agnostic, atheist. And uh, the only thing you really need is the willingness to do it. And here you are, so I know you've got that. Before we start, I'm going to invite you right now to think about what it is you hope that meditation brings you today. What is it that you hope meditation brings to you today? How does it, how do you want it to enliven your experience of living of this beautiful life? Okay, I'm gonna invite you to close your eyes if you're comfortable doing that. Now throughout this practice, if you want, you can keep your eyes open. You can gaze around the room. You can close your eyes or gaze toward the floor. It doesn't much matter as long as you invite stillness and get as comfortable as you can. Throughout this practice, you can move. You can get distracted. If the mind drifts off, just come on back here to the instruction if you like the anchor of this very moment. So I'm going to read you this poem and invite you just to enjoy it. And then we'll go into the meditation. Be the ocean. Be ever changing, but always the same. Be simple and transparent with an entire world deep down inside full of odd and interesting creatures. Be calm, be still, but let yourself get wild and lost in a storm from time to time. Have many homes on many shores and be slightly different at every one. Let people in, let them feel free and surround them with every bit of your being asking for nothing in return. Take in sharp rocks and all the broken glass and return them back as beautiful treasures. 
be routine, but never predictable. And be so loved that people spend their days sitting by your side. Be free and vast and be deep and powerful, all the while being completely moved by something greater than yourself. So as we enter our meditation, I'm gonna invite you to take some deeper breaths through your nose. Breathing in slowly and deeply and exhaling slowly and fully. Giving yourself three long, slow, deep breaths. Helps to send a signal to your body that it's okay to relax. And then returning your breath to its natural rhythm and depth. Tuning into the sensation of the breathing in and out like the waves of the ocean come in and out to the shore. Not forcing your breath, but letting it be as it is as you pay attention to the sensations. Perhaps you feel the cool air as you inhale the warmer breath as you exhale. Perhaps you sense the pauses between the inhale and the exhale, between the coming and goings of the wave. Receiving the breath, not resisting this moment. You can bring your attention now to the sounds around you. Welcoming everything that you hear. The sound waves. Some sounds come and go like the sound of my breath, my voice. Other sounds seem constant, maybe like the hum of your computer. Welcome and enjoy every sound, letting go of the idea of pleasant and unpleasant. Letting go of the need to label the source of the sound, but instead tuning into the sound of the sounds all around you. Practicing welcoming everything and resisting nothing. as you turn your attention now to physical sensations. They too come and go like waves in the ocean. Settling into your body and feeling the support of the chair or the cushion, the floor or the earth beneath you. Feeling the support that's right here, right now. There's no effort required to be here. So letting go of any effort that you might be subtly extending. Softening your entire body Letting go of any subtle tension in your arms or your belly, your thighs or your face. 
no effort required to be here. We're all being held by something much greater and vaster than ourselves, much greater than the individual wave. As you pay attention to sensations in your body, see if you can allow for every sensation, whether you've previously deemed them pleasant or unpleasant. Let everything be here without a label. The tightness, the coolness, the warmth, the hotness, the stiffness, the relaxation. The air on your skin. Blood moving through your veins. Being right here, you can sense your aliveness. No effort required to be here. Now imagine allowing everything to be exactly as it is, without any judgment or interference from your side. Imagine there's nothing to change or improve. No need to accomplish anything in this moment. As you set aside the mental musings of planning, completing, and returning to this moment as you allow everything to be exactly as it is. Your breath is an anchor to this moment. The physical sensations are an anchor to this moment. The sounds are an anchor to this moment. The mind is the time traveler, but your awareness is right here. Imagine there's nothing to change or improve. And there's no need to compare this moment to any idea of how it should be. Letting everything be as it is. There's nothing to get to, no experience to have.
meeting each moment and each breath with a beginner's mind. There's nothing to do right now. There's nowhere to go right now. And there's no one to become. It's this vast awareness of you. Imagine no resistance to anything. Letting everything be as it is. You might silently think, I accept everything as it is. This moment is as it is. Spend some time in silence now. In this moment, there is nothing missing. Though the mind might tell you there is, this moment is complete as it is. 
and this moment and this one. There is a deep wellspring of awareness, the source of your attention, the I am. You might silently use this as a mantra, I am. Simply become aware of your awareness. I invite you to keep your eyes closed as we slowly come out of meditation. And I invite you to notice where your mind wants to travel. As it wants to leave this moment in favor of the past or the future in favor of somebody else's business or your own self image. See if you can be in this moment, this I am.
as you deepen your breath, as you keep your eyes closed. Inviting whatever movement your body wants to make. As you go from the state of meditation to the waking state. You might deepen your breath, stretch. Always allowing for the transition between meditation and your daily waking state, taking as long as you like. There's no rush. Resting in the beauty of this moment. Resting in the beauty of your being. Not losing complete track of the breath or the body or the sensations that are coming and going. Maintaining the welcoming awareness as you begin to open your eyes at your own pace. First with a downward gaze. Maybe in this moment you can identify an affirmation, whether it's I am, or I am still, or I am loved, or I am free. I am here. And then when you feel ready, you can open your eyes all the way. There's no rush. Taking your time, letting the light in or out. Thank you for joining me in that meditation. This is a practice that we cultivate in meditation, but is a practice of being non-resistant and relaxed all the time. It may be very foreign to, at least it can be for me, as I grew up very stressed out. So just relaxing and allowing and not defending can be new for some of us. There's a Buddhist saying, um, that says the most important, most important moment is now. And the most important person is the one in front of you, and whether it's me or your friends or your family or God or whatever, your pet. Savoring each moment in this way leaves nothing out. But when the mind wants to travel, it misses this whole beautiful life. You're here, but your mind's not. So this is a practice of being right here, right here, right here. And it was that Greek philosopher that said, you cannot step into the same river twice because new water is always flowing in and the river is not the same, but neither are you. This moment is different from the moment we had a minute ago. It's different than the moment you're going to have in another minute. So it's meeting this river of life, this ocean of love, this moment, as much as possible with your unencumbered, unconditional awareness. That's the key, I think, to making the most of this life. So thank you for joining me. I'm going to stop the recording now. Those of you who want to join us live, you can go to my website and it'll be in the notes.